What's good, YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks? Thank you guys for stopping by today. Today's barbecue crawl brings me to House Park Barbecue in Austin, Texas. Now, I'm born and raised in Austin, and I've never been here. In fact, I got to be honest, I didn't even know this place was here for <laughs> many years. But I was finally able to swing by and try it out. Now, the one thing that really interests me about this place is they use absolutely no seasoning whatsoever on their meats no salt no pepper or anything the pit that they cook these uh the, the pit that they cook on is the oldest barbecue pit in austin it's uh i think it's at 75 years old so they're relying on all that seasoning that's built up in the pit along with the meat or i'm sorry along with the smoke to really season the meat now i've never been in a place i've never heard of a place that doesn't season their meat whatsoever. So I had to come and try it out. And uh, I'm really excited about this. So we're gonna head inside and um, we're gonna give it a, a taste, see what it's all about, and then we're gonna review it. Let's head in. All right, with the uh, music playing, I'm probably gonna have to eat this and then give you the review in the car. I don't know if YouTube is gonna flag this because of the music in the background. I hope not. We'll see. So I'll uh, taste test everything and then give you my opinion once we get in the car. Some uh, chicken here. Got some brisket. Some pork ribs, potato salad, and beans. So we'll see how this tastes. So you said this pit is the oldest pit in Austin? Or? Austin. In Austin. Yeah. How old is this pit? Uh, 75 years old. The oldest, the older ones, they got me beat in Elgin. Uh, Southside got me beat in uh, Kreitz and Lockhart and right. Lax. And Lockhart got me beat. But in Austin, this is the, the oldest pit in Austin. It's yes, actually sir. pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, I don't have much on it right now. But oh, that's quite all right, man. Got some ribs on here just starting off. And he, you, you do not use any rubs or seasonings or anything on your meat. You let the smoke do the flavor. Yeah. Correct? Yep. Awesome. Let the years of flavor in there do all the work and then let the smoke give it the taste. Uh, awesome. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. No problem. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, then I got my wood pile back there. We got a shit ton of wood back there. Yeah, we'll take a. We get that. Some wood pile out back. Oak? Yeah, oak. It's all oak. oak. A variety of it red oak, fir oak, post. So how long have you been here, uh, in, uh, been open here in this spot? Since 1943. Since 1943? Yeah. Wow. It's been in my family since, uh, 81. And I bought it in 2015. Awesome. I'm trying to keep it around. Yeah, so you guys have been here quite a while. Yeah, it's a cool place, you know. At least I think. <laughs> no, it, it definitely is. I like the whole... You know, when, you, when you're from Austin, all the stuff you have on the wall out there, you know, you kind of get a lot of that, like the yeah. uh, Armadillo Club sign you had up and some of the other stuff. Right. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, man. So, oh, are you from around here? Or? Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm done. Um, I'm a little torn about this place because it's different uh than what i'm used to and what i mean by that is you know at the beginning of the video you heard me say that they don't season their meat whatsoever so every joint i've gone to of course they season their beef or, or all their meats and i had to go into this one with a 
little different mindset. And instead of focusing on not having seasoning, I try to focus on, you know, how well is it cooked or how well is the, the meat cooked? And do I get that, you know, any flavor from just the wood and the seasoning of that pit? And, you know, does the meat still shine through? Now I will say, um, you saw I had ribs, chicken and brisket and then the two sides, uh, beans and potato salad. I never get sides unless uh, I'm, I'm at a, a place for the first time, which this obviously was. I will say with the beans, there's something that they put in there was, that is just really strong. And um, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of that. It's, it's I don't know the, what ingredient it is that they use, but there's something that they put in there that just, I didn't care for. The potato salad, uh, I thought was good. I, I you know, finished all of that. And uh, you know, I'm kind of picky about potato salad. So the potato salad was good. The chicken, um, you know, the skin was still really rubbery, but I thought the chicken was, you know, tender. And I definitely picked up all that smoke flavor on that chicken, which, you know, wasn't too bad. Again, the whole time I'm tasting everything, I'm, I'm, I'm telling myself, okay, remember this is different now. There's no seasoning or anything. So, you know, kind of grade this on a curve a little bit. And, you know, I thought, well, clearly they're doing something right because they're still in business. And uh, and it was really interesting because as I was sitting down eating, I saw, you know, multiple people coming in and out. And the owner was calling them by their names, which tells me that these are repeat customers. So, you know, there's a, a need or there's a... Um, so there's clearly a market for this type of barbecue. You know, if he's having repeat customers, he's been in business for, you know, quite a while. Um, so, you know, it, it works. Um, the brisket, I was disappointed in that there was no bark on it whatsoever. And even without seasoning, you can still get a bark, but it looks like he cut all the, you know, the, the bark off on both sides and just gave me the meat in the middle. I will say that the brisket was extremely tender. Uh, again, there was just there wasn't any seasoning on it uh, aside from the the wood smoke. Um, the ribs, I thought the ribs were good. They were a little tight, but um, you know I, I thought out of the out of the out of the three meats, those were the best ones. That was the best meat. The ribs were, you know, the, it almost tasted like they had seasoning on them. So, you know, it is what it is. But. Uh, you know, overall, I don't know. It's it's really tough because again, this is this is just different from what I'm used to. Um, you know, no seasoning, which is a, a huge uh, huge deal, but it works. Again, they're you know they've been in business for a while. Uh, repeat customers. I think in the part of town that they're in, I think this fits the area. So that was it. Um, Again, the brisket was really tender, but no flavor. The chicken was tender, uh, rubbery skin, and the ribs actually tasted like they had seasoning on them. Um, the best part, potato salad, quite honestly. So, uh, but uh, I forgot the owner's name, but you know, I really, really appreciate him allowing me to come come back there and uh, videotape the the pit, um, and you know, him just kind of chatting with me a little bit. Uh, I really appreciated that. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. Take care.